we're going to do reds and pinks and yellows and greens and browns and blacks. On what would be the first of many runs to pick up paint. I think we have it all uh, for we, now. I, Artists Cindy Wallace and Len Guerin and a crew of painters set their sights on creating history. Okay. Got some great colored paint here. So. I know, and it's in celebration of the renaissance of the west end of Alexandria. This part of Alexandria, once a gritty concrete jungle of smokestacks and auto body shops, is slowly blossoming into a vibrant community of new housing, retail, and color. I, I get chills just thinking about it. Wallace and Garen were commissioned to literally alter this landscape. For many months, we have been dreaming about this. By painting a mural on a massive warehouse wall along Edsel Road. This is a unique canvas. Unique would be an understatement. The wall is two stories tall and 300 feet long. I love painting on large canvases, but this by far will be my largest <laughs> canvas. <laughs> Before the pair began, a commercial crew made the frame. Instead of the frame going yes. on at the end, yes. the frame became the beginning. Yes. Their job paint from left to right the history of this part of Alexandria. And I started at the bottom, he started at the top. We're meeting in the middle. This is a scissor lift. In the beginning, we're starting with the American Indians and settling, and then there's Fort Ward um, and the cannons and the Civil War to modern day times. They landed this high profile gig because they're among the most respected artists in the region. But like the process of creating beauty from a blank canvas, their evolution as artists was unconventional. Wallace is self-taught, never went to art school or even took a lesson. Garen's story is even more unlikely. I got my master's in hospital administration after three years of doing that. I said, I really want to paint. And so I've been a painter ever since. Garen went from the conventions of the boardroom to the limitless realm of the artist's studio. This is really visceral. And he's never looked back. I'm really composing poetry or music in space and making it work. What transpired over the next two months for this artistic duo would be equally eye-opening and admittedly exasperating. First off, the size and scope of this project was unparalleled. Uh, it's very challenging because this is the size of a football field. But that issue did not come even close to equaling the angst that soon erupted. Can I do the flag? I already did the flag. Now it's crooked. It's well, crooked. I know. I'm straightening it out. You want to come up and straighten it out? Sure. Their personalities, styles, and approach methods quickly clashed. We're not always at each other's throat. Maybe most of the time, but not all the time. Can you please come down and look? Okay, so I'm not down. standing here doing nothing. I know, but all your wheels are smaller. All your wheels are smaller. A couple weeks in, and this team appeared divided. You're right. I think I just might scream and yell on the camera. The guy has extra legs on horses, and extra legs and arms on dancers. Such a jerk. When he needs, when did, I'd probably have <laughs> more fun do, doing it by myself. But as this picture emerged, bringing radiance to a concrete corridor, this unlikely duo found inspiration not in pigments or hues, but in the people who inhabit this neighborhood. And a lot of people never even noticed this huge building until we started painting on it. Like Lisa J. Smith, who grew up here. This is my community in my mind, and now I have a picture of it. It's so beautiful. The people that live in the apartments and condos across the street are sitting out on their decks and watching us paint. I said, why, you know? Munir Abdallah and neighbor Anita Padilla watched in wonder for weeks as the mural called Time Travel slowly unfurled. Oh my God, every day I've been watching. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. The same respect you show me in the art room Show to these people right here. Students from nearby Tucker Elementary even visited the mural for a field trip. And you're here today because there's the artist in you. I've never seen something like this before. 
Never. Isn't it wonderful that we live in a community that celebrates art and makes our community look better? It's so cool and it, it's going to inspire me to be a better artist. It has been a long road, but an amazing journey. In time, the mural's story of renewal took shape. Cindy and Len, their differences as distant as the history adorning their creation, were giddy when we met up with them on their final day of touch-ups. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it says I care to the people. And they are grateful to have played a part in a community's renaissance to bring beauty to an unexpected place. We did, yep. we brought a wall to life. Right. The bikers, the joggers, the people walking, the people flying kites, uh, balloons, kids, adults. You know, it, it became a happening. In West End Alexandria, I'm Jay Korf for ABC Seven Stories.